So, if you watched our Philadelphia episode, you saw us show a little bit of Philly cheesesteaks. Right. A cuisine that Philadelphia <laughs> is known for. Yeah, that's right. So, which cheesesteak did we like the best and what did they taste like? Let's watch this Philly cheesesteak challenge. Perfect. Let's go, roll the tape. Here's Pat's King of Steaks cheesesteak with Wiz without onions. So this is Pat's King of Steaks. It's on a hoagie roll with, you can get it with onion, with fried onions. We just got it without, but this is with Wiz or wit Wiz. Um, you gotta learn the Philly Lego. It's wit or without. And it's really good. It's um, shaved thin. Really nice flavor. It doesn't have the onions, but because it was cooked near the onions, you get that like hint of onion, which is nice because I don't mind it. But the roll's really nice. Mm. That's a good sandwich. It's another day I'm back on my feet, so I win again. Roses are so sweet, the scent is all. This is a Gino steak. Caddy corner across the street. Looks a little bit bigger, even though it's the same price. Both of them $11 with Wiz without onions. This one's from Gino Steaks. Um, let's take another bite. Is it just as good? So it is just as good. The steak's a little different on this one. While the other one, you could taste a little bit of the onion. This one, you, the, the cheese Wiz is more prominent. Or as Anne would say, her fingers got more cheese whizzy. Hey, um, that's the way to say it. And I agree. <laughs> I think if you want to have just a hint of the whiz, go maybe to Pat's, where it's more steak front. If you like a lot of that cheese whiz flavor with your cheese steak, Gino's might be your choice. And I think Gino's is a softer bun. I do. I think so right? too. And I think it's very pliable. Yeah. Yeah. So. It holds, the, but they both hold together great, yes. which is important. Perfect. So let's finish this one and then we'll check out Sunny's. All right. And our third one is from Sunny's. Now, Sunny's is a more local place. There's a couple of advantages. They use ribeye steak that's never been frozen and you can order online, which makes it much more convenient than standing in line. Okay, so I've already had a bite. So Sunny's, I would automatically say the bun feels more like a homemade bun, like a French bread loaf. Um, this one has American cheese, which was a slight upcharge over the Whiz. Um, but the steak is really tender and it's, you can tell about the ribeye with the flavoring and the bread is just so, so perfect. It's very tasty. Mm. Well, so, you've had three. I think of the three, I'm gonna go with the locals. Wow. Um, you know, it's one thing to come to a place and have from Pat or Gino's, obviously they're big, they know it. This has got better flavor. The bread I like better. The American cheese, you can get it with Wiz, but I don't know. I would say get the American cheese. It's it was delicious. And don't you forget, can't go we got wrong fries with all too. three of them. You can't go wrong with all three. <laughs> and you can get fries at any of the locations too. Yes. <laughs> with cheese now, Wiz. Another thing is Gino's and Pat's cash only. Right. Both eleven dollars right on the button for a hoagie but cash only. They do have some ATMs. I wouldn't trust the ATMs, but they do have some. Sunnies, you can order not only online, but you can also pay with a credit card. So that helps. Yeah, we had 
all three different kinds in Philadelphia, and they were all delicious. But I read that Anthony Bourdain, the famed chef, said that the best Philly cheesesteak may not be in Philadelphia. It may actually be in across the river in Camden, New Jersey. New Jersey. So we tried that as well. And that was Donkey's Place, or as the sign would say, Donkey's Bar, but Donkey's Place in Camden, New Jersey. So the difference on this one is it's served on a round poppy seed Kaiser bun. It still has American cheese. You could get it with onions if you wanted, but we didn't. We just did the American cheese and it was humongous. As you can see here, Anne is just in awe of the size of it. And it was really, really, really good. So, of all four cheesesteaks, yep. which were your top ones? I think Pat's okay. was a big one, but um, Sonny's. Sonny's? You like Sonny's? I think Sonny's was the best for so me. So, I'm kind of torn between Donkey's Place what? and Sonny's. Wow. And for just sheer flavor. Yeah. I think Donkey's Place was because it was so a little different being on the round Kaiser roll. Right. Um, it all came down to the bread for me. Between the two iconic Geno's and yes. Pat's King of Steaks, yep. I agree with you, Pat's King of Steaks. Yeah. I think of those two iconic places, regardless of what the line was doing at Geno's, the Pat's King of Steaks would be the one of those two I'd go back to over and over and over. What I will say, if someone just offered me a Geno's steak sub, chili steak, I would take it. Oh, I wouldn't say no I wouldn't to say no any of them. To any of them. No, absolutely not. Um, I, 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 I can't argue with that. <laughs> um, but if I had someone said you can only eat one cheesesteak right. for the rest of your time, right. I think I might go with Donkey's Place. Wow. Sonny's, super close. So for the Philadelphia ones, I would say Sonny's. Okay. For overall region, I would say <laughs> Donkey's Place. For the two iconic places, I would say Pat's King of Steaks. Sorry, Geno's. Sorry, Geno's. <laughs> Still better than Philly cheesesteak at a fast food joint. So, right. This is where we're going to end this wrap up. Mm -hmm. What should they do? We would love to have you subscribe. Join our fellow subscribers. Exactly. <laughs> we don't have a name for our <laughs> For our crew, but yeah. <laughs> but it's all right. Someday maybe we'll think of one. Hey, if you have a suggestion, put it in the comments. Exactly. We'd love to get a comment, um, and also give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Boop, 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 boop. Also, if you want to follow us on our other social media platforms, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Always well done. We'd love you to have you there. Them all. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks guys for coming along with us for our cheese steak challenge. Thank you.